Today, we'll hear statements by the Honourable Members for the District of Conception Bay South, Exploits, Fairyland, Grand Falls, Windsor Buckins, Arbor, Maine, St. Barb's, Lansing Meadows, with leave. The Honourable the Member for Conception Bay South. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, on April 20th, I had the pleasure of attending the Conception Bay South Annual Volunteer Appreciation and Awards Night Ceremony. Ms. Noreen Taylor, an exceptional lifelong volunteer, was named the 2023 Citizen of the Year. This is sponsored by the Conception Bay South Lions Club and the Town of Conception Bay South. Noreen's dedication to our community is second to none. Her volunteer work includes volunteering with the Big Brothers, Big Sisters, the Canadian Cancer Society, Girl Guides of Canada, CBS Minor Softball Association, CBS Amateur Sports Organization, and a school council representative on St. Edward School, Frank Roberts Jr. High School, and Queen Elizabeth High School Council. For over 10 years, Noreen has been a member of the Exception Bay South Chamber, Chapter of the Children's Wish Foundation, and she is also a Special Olympics coach. Conception Bay South is a great place to live and raise a family. Our community continues to thrive because of dedicated volunteers such as Noreen Taylor. I ask all honorable members to join with me in congratulating this outstanding individual on receiving this well-deserved award and to thank Noreen for her unwavering commitment to our community and our province. Thank you. The Honorable, the member for exploits. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, on April the 15th, I had the privilege to present Mrs. Clara Reed of Bishop's Falls with her certificate and help celebrate her 98th birthday. Born and raised in Fortune, <laughs> born and raised in Fortune at the age of 17, she left and attended summer school in St. John's to start her teaching career. She taught in Air Bay, Twillingate, St. John's, Bell Island, and Bishop's Falls. On July 18, 1950, she married Mr. Ray Raymond Reed at the age of 20, and together they had five daughters. Mrs. Reed resides by herself in her own home in Bishop's Falls and is the oldest living resident in the town. Mrs. Reed is still very independent, cleaning and cooking for herself. There is always an assortment of bottle soups, which she has every day and says it's what keeps her healthy. She is known to have a great social life and enjoys going on excursions with her friends, the Bubble Buddies. She loves doing puzzles, reading and watching game shows when she has the time. Speaker, I would like for all members of this House of Assembly to join me in wishing this remarkable lady, Mrs. Clara Reed, a happy 98th birthday. The Honourable, the member for Fairyland. Thank you, Speaker. Just this past weekend, the Southern Shore Senior Breakers were awarded Newfoundland and Labrador Senior Hockey Glory the Herder Trophy for the second consecutive year as they defeated the Deer Lake Red Wings in the thrilling five games. Following an impressive year in the Avalon East Senior Hockey League and finishing in first place, the Breakers defeated the Conception Bay Blues and the St. John's Caps to win the league championship and advance to this year's Herder Fund. The Breakers are a phenomenal team that have captured the hearts of many and with their incredible talent, passion and dedication to the game. Not only are they exceptional on the ice, but they also serve as fantastic role models for inspiring athletes along the Southern Shore. It's great to see so many passionate fans pack the Ken Williams Arena in Mobile this past weekend to show their support for their home team. Congratulations to the Breakers on another stellar season. I can't wait to see you all on the ice again next year in search of their third consecutive herder. Go Breakers, go. Thank you. The Honourable the Member Grand Falls Windsor Buckins. Thank you very much, Speaker. On June 16, 2012, near Redcliffe, then six-year-old Bradley Reed was on an ATV with his grandfather, Walter Small, when a moose distracted them. The ATV turned over with Mr. Small pinned underneath. Bradley did not panic. Rather, he sat with his grandfather all day, despite it being very hot. Later in the evening, they heard a truck on the trail, and Bradley ran for help, but despite his best efforts, he unfortunately never got the driver's attention. It was not until the following day that they heard another vehicle and Bradley managed to flag down the occupants of the truck. Two men, came, two men came to help and managed to remove the ATV off Mr. Small and call an ambulance to the scene. Bradley never 
leaving his grandfather's side other than to seek help, displayed bravery well beyond his years during the entire ordeal. Please join me as we honor a true hero at a tender age who loved his grandfather enough to remain by his side. Bradley Reed, we are very proud of you as a community for ensuring the safety of someone so important to us all. Great job, young man. Here, here. Thank you. The Honorable, the member for Harbor, Maine. I am honored to stand in this House of Assembly today and recognize George and Bertha Uden from Georgestown in the District of Harbor, Maine. On April the 22nd, 1923, George and Bertha, who lived almost next door to each other, walked to the Brigus United Church to be married. Seventy glorious years later, and they are celebrating their platinum anniversary. As a jack of all trades, George supported his family by working a lifetime at H.B. Daw, while Bertha was a stay-at-home mom who raised five children, one son and four daughters. Today, they are grandparents to 10 and great-grandparents to eight, with number nine on the way. George and Bertha are both healthy, active, and so youthful looking, you would never believe that he is 90 and she is 87. <laughs> they both still have driver's licenses, and it is not unusual to see George up tearing the roof of the family home, or Bertha out mowing the lawn. As their daughter, Jessie, described, they live a modest and simple life and are good parents to their children. Please join me in congratulating George and Bertha on this milestone occasion and wish them many, many more years of love and happiness. The Honorable Member of St. Barb's Lance and Medals with leave. Leave granted. The Honorable the Member for St. Barb's Lance and Medals. Speaker G. William Fitzgerald settled in St. Anthony as a general surgeon in 1976. With his wife, Dr. Trudy O'Keefe, a general practitioner, they committed 40 plus years of dedicated service to the people of the Great Northern Peninsula, Labrador, and the Quebec shore. As a member of the Order of Canada, a recipient of the Royal College's James H. Graham Award of Merit, President of the Royal College and Canadian Association of General Surgeons, Dr. Fitz demonstrated selfless dedication to patient care, vast scope of practice, technical wizardry, a love of teaching, and a service to profession and his community. Students and professionals from all over the world flocked to St. Anthony, despite its remoteness, to learn and work with him. He had an international reputation. His impish sense of humor and unwavering support of his colleagues created a system of care second to none. A patient referred was a patient accepted. No question was too silly, no task was too small if it meant learning or improving patient care. We all felt safe and supported when he was present. He passed away on April 17, 2023. It was my pleasure to have known and worked with such an incredible human. I ask all honorable members to join me in celebrating and honoring the life of Dr. William Fitzgerald. I ask all members to rise for a moment of silence.